There's food, there's uh, live art, and there's just a sense of love that people can feel. And not only to get tested for COVID, but also we have HIV testing. At Harrison Park in the Pilsen neighborhood, a number of organizations have stationed up to test people from the most affected communities, offering census and voting registration. They call it Survival Day. Uh, we have to consider this virus and the lack of care and effort to stop the spread of this virus, a part of the systemic racism that we're seeing everybody stand up against today. 70%, more than 70% of the death toll is black and Latino. So that's why it's so important for us to arm ourselves with the weapons to defend ourselves from this virus. This is the fourth Survival Day event, which is spearheaded by Healthy Hood Chicago. Lozano saying the event is a chance to address the lack of resources in black and brown communities, while also highlighting their cultures. We want COVID relief to be a reflection of the community's most affected. So here you can feel our culture, you can see our art, you can eat our food, you can partake in community. And these efforts aren't just stopping here in Pilsen. Healthy Hood, along with the help of the 11 other organizations here today, are making their way through the West and South Side communities. We already know that this virus is dis disproportionately affecting black and brown communities. And where are those black and brown communities? They're on the South and West Side. Both Siobia Rivers and Losano saying there's still a lot more work to be done. In Pilsen, Yukari Nakayama, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.